Hi everyone, today I'm going to do something a little different. In this video, rather than making a how-to screencast, I'm going to give you an in-depth look at 22 free portable apps that I think deserve a place on any USB flash drive. For each portable app, you are going to see a demonstration of myself installing the app whilst I talk about the app itself, rather than just directly explaining what I'm doing on the screen. To begin with, I'm going to answer the simple question, what is a portable app? Simply put, a portable app is an application or program that you take with you for use on any compatible system because the applications are small enough in file size to be installed and transported around on a USB flash drive or other removable media. The applications are self-contained standalone tools with their own executables, also known as EXE files. When you unplug your flash drive, your personal and application data goes with you. In theory, no portable app should leave a trace and they should be usable on any USB or portable drive. Portable apps can suffer from limited functionality as a result of their small size, and some will be slow to use because of those limitations. The best way to find portable apps is to search app repositories and suites like portableapps.com, although searching for individual apps on Google will do the job as well. You'll notice that many of the apps mentioned in this video are from portableapps.com because it is, hands down, the best portable app site around. There are others of course, but this is undoubtedly the best, having a clear approach and a vast amount of programs. That said, some of my favourite portable apps aren't included on the site, and portableapps.com also contains an awful lot of superfluous programs that simply aren't worth bothering with. The trick is finding the needles among the copious numbers of haystacks, and I hope that this guide will prove a welcome starting point for anyone interested in venturing down the portable apps road. Without further ado, here are the 22 free portable apps I think deserve a place on any USB flash drive. There was never going to be any other place to start. OpenOffice is the only free office suite worth downloading if you want to examine and edit documents on the move. It's also a brilliant stripped down version of the open source office suite that many of you will no doubt have on your systems already. Indeed, what's most pleasing about OpenOffice Portable is that there's little noticeable difference between this and the desktop version of the main suite. So much that it's easy to forget you're using the portable version. All the requisite functionality is included and it's lightning quick to use. If you've ever used OpenOffice before, and even if you haven't, you won't be disappointed with this. If there's one app I think should be on any flash drive, this is it. If you're unlikely to use any OpenOffice tools beyond its writer or word processing package, then Abbey Word Portable is another option open to you. I wouldn't actually recommend the full version, because there are better web-based options available to you, but as a portable word processor, it's really rather good. Plenty of formatting options, support for a strong range of file formats, including Microsoft Word and OpenOffice Writer, and strong performance make this a solid alternative to my first choice app. The next type of app that we're going to be looking at is security and maintenance. Perhaps the biggest concern for any portable app user is security. Because you're taking your data with you wherever you go and plugging your USB drive into different systems around the country, possibly even the world, you need to be sure that it isn't going to become infected with any malware. ClamWin Portable is a great antivirus product for any pen drive user. ClamWin is designed with Windows users in mind and it allows you to scan your USB files wherever you are. In fact, this is a vital part of your portable apps experience because you should really scan your USB files whenever you plug it into a new PC so that you can be sure you're not importing any viruses onto the system yourself. The only real issue I have with ClamWin is that it doesn't have a real-time scanner for virus detection which means that you have to run scans manually. It's not a massive problem, of course, but it does mean you have to keep on top of your own virus scanning. Also, updates and scheduled scans are disabled, but then that makes sense with a supportable product. ClamWin won't win any design awards, but in my experience, it's certainly a strong performer. Spyware removal software is a rather subjective business, but as this is already on my desktop, I'm happy to stick it on a USB drive too. The portable version of this tool features the scanning and removal features of the main program. It can also cover quick, system and custom scans, and it claims to be able to deal with over a million spyware and malware infections. CCleaner has long been on my list of initial downloads for any new PC build or purchase because, in my experience, it's highly effective at cleaning up a system's registry entries, speeding up that computer. It's also great at removing any traces of your PC time on the web, which is vital for a portable pen drive user. The app can be downloaded onto a USB flash drive, meaning you can clean the internet history of any that you've been using, which can be useful if you find yourself using a random company laptop on the go, for example. It's also quick to use, making it one of my favourite tools. 
The next type of app that we're going to look at are personal services. Password managers are a personal choice. Some of you might swear against them, preferring to keep all your contacts, passwords and usernames in your head. However, for those of you who would rather at all to do it for you, KeyPass is a fine portable app for the job. KeyPass is an open source, lightweight option, so it's ideal for USB use. The software allows you to put all your passwords in a secure database with AES-256 encryption algorithms for the entire database, all protected by a master key. Allowing users to carry their entire database of usernames and passwords with them without fear of being viewed by anyone, KeyPass Password Safe is a great tool for ensuring that none of this data is left behind on any system. TrueCrypt is a disk encryption tool that will encrypt the personal data on your drive to keep it from any prying eyes. The software can encrypt an entire flash drive or an encrypt file container on the drive, and that encryption is of the real-time, on-the-fly variety. Two things to note about the portable version of the app are that you need admin privileges to be able to run it, and it might be possible to tell that TrueCrypt has indeed been executed by looking at the registry, so the registry will still have to be cleared after use. In this sense, it doesn't match PortableApps.com's definition of a portable app, but I'm still happy to recommend it. The next category of apps is those that let you go online. The SeaMonkey project is powered by Mozilla, yet it's hardly a browser on everyone's lips when it comes to surfing. Chrome is already the lightweight browser of choice for a vast sum of users, including myself, and it's hard for money to look past the speed and efficiency it offers. That's a shame for the likes of SeaMonkey, however, because the portable version of it, bundled with a PortableApps.com launcher, is quite superb for mobile users. It's highly customizable, with toolbars, tabs, sliders and themes, all proving enough scope for internet fun. It also feels like Firefox in many ways, which should appeal to a large section of users, and it's quick in use, which is clearly an important factor of any browser you use on the go. The bottom line is that I can't think of any better browser on the portable market right now. It even has a bunch of development tools, allowing power users to delve deep if they wish. However, if you want to stick with something more familiar, I'd personally avoid Chrome Portable in favour of Firefox Portable. As with SeaMonkey, personal settings, bookmarks and extensions are installed on the USB drive itself, which means that these go wherever your drive-based browser goes. I'd also stick with these because Mozilla's other applications, detailed later on in this video, will form a key part of your portable experience. The next category of apps is organisation. For the full portable experience, you're going to have to keep in touch with friends and colleagues. You could opt for a webmail account, but if you'd rather avoid that, then a portable email client will probably be high on your list. Thunderbird Portable Edition is really the only place to go to meet this need. Optimised for use on a flash drive, the program has some special tweaks to make it perform faster and extend the life of your USB flash drive. Crucially, however, the functionality seen in the full version of Thunderbird is still present. Cross-platform support, POP and IMPA support, various themes and junk filtering are all here. There are other portable email clients, but you needn't look beyond this. If you want a calendar tool to manage your weekly activity, you could download the portable edition of Sunbird, which is again found on the PortableApps.com site. However, a neater option in my opinion is to install the Lightning Calendar extension for Thunderbird. Of course, this is only relevant should you decide to download Thunderbird, but by integrating itself into Thunderbird's interface and taking up a lot less space than Sunbird Portable, just 2 megabytes downloaded, it's the more sensible option in my eyes. However, if you're after a separate calendar tool than Sunbird Portable Edition is the best you're going to get. Next on the list is an FTP client. FileZilla is a reputable open source FTP client that's been helping users to handle FTP transfers for years. The fact that it can be used as a portable application seems something of a no-brainer. In truth, there really aren't that many alternatives. WinSCP is another open source option for Windows users, and its synchronized browsing feature, which automatically opens the same directory from one panel to another one opposite, is a smart one. However, FileZilla is a cross-platform and is my preferred app if for no other reason than it is instantly familiar to me, having used FileZilla before. The drag-and-drop interface works as you'd expect it to, and in my experience, it's always seemed pretty reliable. A third option here is another Firefox extension, FireFTP. It's a stripped-down FTP client, but because it features SSL and TLS and proxy support, it remains a perfectly usable option. It also takes up very little drive space. The next category is Portable Media Apps. VLC Media Player is perhaps most famous for being able to handle pretty much anything that's thrown at it. 
The codec support for the application truly is fantastic, and there's usually no need to download any additional codec packs to cope with media. The program's lightning fast playback and impressive media conversation functionality are just two of the features at its core. The app is portable as a standalone tool in its own right, but when it packaged with the portable app's launcher, installing this stable, quick and portable media package is a no-brainer. Bottom line, if media doesn't work on VLC, it's unlikely to work with any other player. The next app is a very personal choice, but one that I make no apologies for including. Audacity is quite simply one of my favourite open source apps. It's an audio editor and recorder that can be used for recording live audio, converting audio to different formats and for editing audio. It's also quite brilliant in use. The portable app loses none of the fantastic functionality on show, although the last stable release won't support Windows 7 systems, which is a shame. Useful for interviewing people on the road or for editing any audio transcripts or media you may have been handed while out and about, for example. Audacity is a wonderful tool and a personal favourite of mine. While not a portable app in its own right, IMG Burn makes my list because it's a lightweight disk and disk image burning application that can be easily installed on a USB drive. Nobody's going to tell you that it looks like anything other than a lightweight tool, but if you're happy to overlook the basic presentation, and I think you should be, IMG Burn is a decent burning app that supports a good range of file formats. It's also highly stable in my experience. Finally, we come to the miscellaneous category. Another app that's a small tool in its own right, rather than being a specifically portable app, is PDF Exchange Viewer. It's definitely the best PDF reader for USB flash drives. This is because it's jam-packed with features in comparison to its rivals. For example, this app lets users add annotations and comments to a PDF file, display multiple PDFs in a tabbed interface, and export to several file formats, including JPEG, TIFF, and BMP. It does lack some of the features of the commercial versions, such as inserting and extracting pages, but what more do you expect from a free and portable product such as this? I prefer this to the likes of Foxit because PDF Exchange Viewer is fully functional and quick to boot. The non-portable version of 7-Zip remains a firm favourite of mine, so the inclusion of its portable app was an obvious decision for me. The portable version of the file archiver utility can compress and decompress files easily, in addition to handling TAR and RAR files, and it's easy to use with other core features including AES256 encryption. Instant messaging on users' systems might not always be available because of admin controls. In that case, a drive-based IAM client is the natural solution, and that's exactly what Pigeon Portable provides, enabling MSN, Yahoo and other network users to keep in touch. The portable app supports a couple of encryption plugins for Pigeon, both packaged up as portable installers from the SourceForge.net resource site. Everything self-contained, with no trace being left behind, and multiple networks can be accessed from the one program. Miranda Portable offers an alternative that also takes up less space, but Pigeon's definitely my preferred app. While Evernote is my preferred journal or note-taking tool, it hasn't made it to a portable form. The best portable journal, therefore, is probably Red Notebook Portable. It lacks a professional presentation, but nevertheless, it's a fully functional journal app in its own right. Text is highly formatable, links, pictures and files can be easily inserted, while bulleted lists also add to its core feature list. It's simple to get to grips with, and it doesn't hog resources at all. So that's everything. This is by no means an exhaustive list, but I think it contains the core programs a user would need. I've purposely not included apps such as GIMP Portable or other image editors, because I think your drive space would be better spent elsewhere. Portable image editors just aren't up to the task in my experience, and so I've steered clear. Equally, the raft of portable games available haven't made the list because, quite frankly, if you want truly portable gaming, you'd be better off playing some on a smartphone. It's important to use the portable apps that really work well, rather than the ones that are rather poor imitation of their full versions. PortableApps.com remains a fine repository for many of the tools you'll require, but if you want some alternatives, then LibreKey and Lupo Pensuite are another couple of sites that might be worth a look. The trick with portable apps is finding the ones that do their job without fuss and genuinely add to the user experience, rather than simply proving a bit of a pain over time. I think all of those mentioned here fit that criteria. Importantly, they've all been proven to be stable programs during my time using them, which is a vital part of the portable experience. Hopefully this list goes some way towards guiding you in the right direction. Remember though, the web is full of alternatives to these tools, and I encourage you to discover your own favourite portable apps. The only thing you need to do now is to dig out a USB drive and put them all on.